Welcome to the History Lord channel. You join me here once again in Golden Square, but again we're going to be talking about something we did a few weeks ago, and that was on the South Bank, and that was the Lincoln Tower. The reason we're talking about it now is because the microphone failed, unfortunately. Uh, we did do a few videos that day, and the microphone just had a bit of an overheat at the end of the day. So we're going to talk about it now. Welcome to London. The Lincoln Tower is actually built on the site of an orphanage for females, and that was founded in about 1758. When the orphanage closed in the mid-19th century, its site was acquired by the trustees of the Surrey Chapel that was actually on nearby Blackfriars Road, and actually was called the Round Chapel, or the Ring, and that's where boxing first took over in the late 1800s. This larger site provided the Surrey Chapel with a lot more room, and so they actually raised some funds to build the new Congregational Chapel, which they named Christchurch, and a large complex of ancillary buildings. The pastor of the chapel at the time was a chap called Christopher Newman Hall, and he had lectured and written extensively in support of Abraham Lincoln and the abolition of slavery. He raised funds in America for a permanent international memorial to Abraham Lincoln in London, and it was incorporated into the plans for redevelopment of this former orphanage site. The Lincoln Tower was opened on the 4th of July 1876, the centenary of American independence. And the foundation stone had been laid just two years before, on the 9th of July in 1874, by the then American ambassador, General Schenck. There's two main rooms in the lower tower, and they're called the Washington and the Wilberforce rooms. The original design was done by an architect called E.C. Robbins, and he developed that in 1873. He gave more prominence to the Lincoln Tower and it became a standalone building with its own ground floor entrances, but it's still integrated with the rest of the complex. The tower itself rises 200 feet high, it has a rather spectacular spire and it incorporates E.C. Romine's concept of an architectural version of the stars and stripes and he uses a polychromatic colour scheme of red and white stones. The completed tower is actually built of Kentish stone. It's Kentish ragstone on the outside and it's bath stone on the inside. And it's modelled on a Gothic style. And it is widely regarded at this time as probably the best example of a steeple and tower architecture in London. Sadly, the bulk of Christchurch was destroyed by enemy action during World War II. And in the 1950s, the Lincoln Tower was incorporated into the modern office blocks that you see today. It's now owned by the United Reformed Church and is run as part of a trust called the Oasis Trust Charity. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then please do subscribe. If you want to see when videos are uploaded, there's a small little bell just down below. Hit that and it tells you when we upload a video. If you want to see what we do outside of these videos, then please go to historylord.co.uk, see about one of our walking tours of London. If you want to see what James does on his YouTube channel, Last Line Films, there's a link in the description below. Why not have one of his podcasts as well? Rather a good listen, I think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon.